create masterpieces like this, this, and this one with just a few simple prompts. We're gonna use Mid Journey, a free AI art generator that will give you the power to create stunning pieces of art. Follow the steps and tips on this video to see how easy it is to create art that will make your friends say, wow! So if you guys are ready for this tutorial, let's go to my computer. To start with, we're gonna go to midjourney.com. If you didn't know, Midjourney works with Discord. And if you are not familiar with Discord, this is a platform that works like a chat. Now, we have two different options. We can create a new Discord account or we can sign in if we already have an account. In here, we also have two other buttons that you may find useful. If you want to learn more about how to get started, you can always go to this button and you will have a lot of information that is going to be very useful. And if you want to get inspired by others' creations, you can click on this button and see the most recent community showcase. You can scroll down and see the creations of others. And when you hover on these images, you will see the prompt used to create these images. If you go up, you can also filter these results by top. Let me go back to the homepage to midjourney.com and let's click on join the beta. You will see that another tab opens and then if this happens to you, if you see invite invalid, you would like to close this new tab, go back to midjourney.com, refresh the page and try again until you see this page. Here you would like to type an username, then check this box and hit continue. Check this box and verify that you are human by completing this request. Enter your birth details. Now enter an email address and password to claim your Discord account. Now go to your inbox and verify your email. You'll be taken to this page, so now click continue to Discord. Now we are inside Discord. This is the platform slash chat that we're gonna use to generate our pieces of art. To start with, we're gonna click on this boat icon and because we are new, we're gonna go to one of the newcomer rooms channels. I selected newbie 30s and as you can see, in this thread, we can see images generated by other users. But how do we generate our own? Well, you're gonna type your request on this chat and we're gonna start by writing slash image. Now we're gonna select the auto filler option that appears above, this one that says prompt. Then you would like to type the keywords to describe the image you want to generate. If this is the first time ever that you are using this chat, I do suggest that you copy this prompt because you will need it later. This is my prompt. As you can see, I tried to be very precise with the description of what I wanted to create. And at the end, I added a dash dash V space four to ask the bot to create a design with their best version of the generator. Also, I added dash dash AR as in aspect ratio 2 by 3. This is going to ask the bot to generate an image in this ratio rather than a square image by default. Once you submit your first prompt, the bot will send you this message. It is basically asking you to accept the terms of service to continue using Midjourney. Click this button that says accept TOS and now you are ready to roll. The bot will then send you this message in which is letting you know that you have now now 25 free queries and then several options for paid memberships. Knowing this, you would like to be very mindful with the first 25 queries. Now, if you remember, I asked you to copy the prompt that we previously sent. So because it was the first prompt and we needed to accept the terms of service and all of this, our prompt didn't get sent. So now, you just need to copy, paste or write again your prompt and hit enter. Then you would like to search for your request or your query and it is highlighted so it is easier for you to find it. You will see a yellow line and 
kind of like a lighter color on your message. It will show you the loading percentage in here. And also don't be scared with what you see here. The images will look weird at first but it's because they are being generated and by the time the images are a hundred percent generated they will look better you will hear a beep once the piece is ready and now you'll have different options to choose from the u will scale the image to full resolution and each of these images have a number so this is one this is two this is three and this is four. If you select this option, it's gonna ask the bot to scale this image to full resolution. Then we have V. This is going to ask the bot to create four more like this. And then we have the arrow to start over again. You can click on the image to enlarge this preview. And from these four options, I like better number one and number two. Number one, I'm not sure about the way the eyes look, so I'm gonna create four more versions of this one and four more of the number four. So I'm gonna click on V1 and V4. Once you're happy with the results, you can scale to full resolution and when the bot sends you that final image, you would like to click on it, then click open in browser, right click and save image as. And this is the final outcome. Remember that this was free to generate, but after the 25 free queries, you will have to get a paid membership to continue using this AI art generator. These are the different paid plans. As you can see, the free trial has 25 images lifetime. Then you have the basic plan, which costs $10 per month, and you can create up to 200 images per month. If you are into the new AI platforms, Ronnie is going to talk about chat GPT in the next video. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Meanwhile, I recommend you watch this video in which Ronnie shows you how to use Canva's AI copy generator. I think this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I see you in the next one. Bye.